friends welcome back to another vlog my name is Erica if you are new so today is Saturday it is Memorial Day weekend and I don't have a whole lot of plans other than kind of just doing some things around the house relaxing I figured I'd pick up my camera for the next couple days just vlog here and there um, probably Saturday Sunday Monday so um, yeah I have to do like my grocery shopping hopefully we'll get the pool set up yesterday we had well we've literally had a week solid of crazy rain and storms yesterday we had two tornadoes in our city um we had they haven't confirmed yet but our our meteorologist said he thought it was an f3 one of them um leveled a couple houses it was like 20 minutes from me so it but it was crazy i did vlog that day so check that vlog out if you if you um haven't yet but anyways we do have sunshine today thank the lord it's going to be beautiful now all weekend but the ground is really muddy and marion really wanted to put the pool up and he but he wants to wait until it dries out a little bit so we're not going to do that today so maybe tomorrow or monday hopefully because this next week's gonna be really hot and sunny and it'd be nice to have the pool up um i cannot believe it's that time of year again i love it but um today i think we're gonna just go out and have some fun we're gonna go to like the discount theater that we have in town and probably take jackson to play putt putt we were gonna do this when he got out of school but it was so wet and stormy we weren't able to so today i think we will i think we'll just take some time some family time and do those things and then we'll do the work around here you know tomorrow monday um because school's out there's no set schedule and i love that i'm so excited i'm so excited i love summer i know i say that all the time but i truly truly this is my all-time favorite time of year are you coming up but i'm just sitting down here with my sweet boy he loves 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 the screen porch so much i'm going to vlog i'll just be uh it'll be three over three days but you know i'll just be picking it up here and there i know um y'all seem to like those kind of videos just like including everything like coming and going and housework and going I, all the things put together those are actually my favorite kind of videos to watch too so I'm glad that you enjoy them I'm going to take you along we're going to be leaving here pretty soon um I do have like just little errands to run and yeah but if you missed my summer decor video make sure you check it out I decorated my porch for summer I didn't want to do too much just because it's small and we do use it all the time and so I wanted it to still look festive though and in person like it definitely feels like just just the right amount of stuff and then i also did the inside so so i wanted to feel festive all summer so that is what that looks like so if you saw me buy this uh bathing suit this is literally the fourth one i've got at sands and i'm taking it back as well i'm just giving up this year i just don't like the design of them this year the way that this fits the shirt it's weird it's just weird and so i've tried two different styles two different sizes of each and this one's going back as well so that's a bummer but i do have other ones from last year so i need to take that to sam uh sam's and i need to drop some stuff off at goodwill to donate and it's maybe summer but jackson's wearing a hoodie a lot of people talk about your hoodie that says god taught me it's actually from a christian rapper named zanti right that's where that came from in case you're wondering so we have a little time to kill before the movie so i dropped my recyclables and went to sam's and i we came back to restore because we came here a couple weeks ago looking at doors and i just thought i'd walk through while we had time to kill but they have all these things and i was like what is this i don't know what this is and i gotta show you the sign it's so funny this is, what is it micro fridge stand standing desk podium <laughs> we don't know but it's only 25 25 dollars that just cracks me up i don't know we saw them last time and we were like what is this i have no idea kind of funny though anyway just thought we'd look again at the doors because you know they constantly get new stuff look at this fireplace mantle oh that is so pretty i want to see how much that is $75 wow wow that is beautiful wish I had room for that that is so pretty I love that door I feel I like that's to way too you. big though that's way too tall it's kind of like our bed frame 20 bucks that is nice I think it's a full size wow I love that they have all kinds of headboards and so nice all the hinges you need <laughs> what do you need those I, I, I mean it's just exciting <laughs> yeah, it's like, wait if I start making furniture and stuff, then yeah 
these corbels. Five dollars. Is this a corbel? It is a corbel. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I need this. <laughs> How cute is that? And look at these corbels. Five dollars. I'm gonna use these in my new pantry. This one's really fancy. A coffee pot? Yeah, no. I mean, unless you want it. I don't know what this is. It's interesting. That is a huge chandelier. I don't know what this is. It's very interesting. Found two more sets. These are $6 a set, so I can use these in a doorway or for shelves in my pantry. gonna get some Japanese food at Kenko. I just totally parallel parked. <laughs> I haven't done it forever, but uh, I wanna eat outside. It is Sunday now, it's next day, and yesterday, I got a piece of hair hanging in my face. <laughs> yesterday, we just kind of had like a family day, like I said. We went out to, I don't remember exactly how much I vlogged, but I tried to show you like each of the places. We went to the movies and we went to get some Japanese food, and we went to play Putt Putt, and then we went and got ice cream. And it was just wonderful, just wonderful. Today we just got up, went to church, and then we went out to lunch. We don't usually do that anymore. We used to go every Sunday out to lunch, but we just don't do it as often anymore. Jackson's more like, yeah, I'm fine to just go home, and Marion, he doesn't really care. So, um, but we did. We went out and got Mexican food. So I am so full, and now I need to go to the grocery store. So I think it's harder to go to the grocery store when you're so full rather than when you're so hungry. But um, I need, do need to do it. I, I made a list. I thought about putting an order in and just letting them do it for me. But then I would still have to go in and get my produce. And I sometimes still have to go to Kroger and get produce because Walmart doesn't look very good. So I don't know. I just figured I'd just do it. I just bite the bullet and do it. And it's Sunday. Tomorrow's a holiday. So I feel like the, the weekend is kind of extended, you know. So I feel like I have more time. Plus it's summer. So, you know, we don't have the routine. But I do have a pretty big grocery haul I'll have to share as soon as I get home. Marion, I think he's downstairs like pulling the pool out right now. I think the plan is to get that set up today and probably take today and tomorrow and yep he's got his his outside working clothes on <laughs> and oh did you just pull out the pool? Hmm? Did you pull out the pool? No, yeah. I, I, just the tools to get the oh. ground ready. Okay we also have to get the grass cut and I yeah, I'm gonna do some stuff out there, but I probably won't do it until tomorrow. Just, I'm not sure. But I'll show you. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna go change, and then I'm gonna run to Walmart and get groceries. So when I get back, I'll do a grocery haul, and then I'll, you know, see see how far he's gotten. It takes days to get the pool full, but he's got to like prepare everything. I was out there a while ago looking at the seeds we planted. It says it takes seven to 21 days to germinate, and I think there's little little sprouts coming up already. So either that or they're weeds, but. <laughs> I'll show you. See, there's a few little sprouts coming up. I feel like these are hopefully my flowers coming up. That'd be so fun if it really worked. But so many of you told me this is probably slugs killing these. And a couple people said put coffee grounds. So I'm going to try that. 
And if it doesn't work, I will buy some kind of slug, you know, like seven dust or something. But yeah, slugs, that's what's happening here. Cause we definitely do have slugs in the summertime. So um, yeah, hopefully we can stop. Look at that, that's terrible. Marion's favorite time of the year. He loves the pool. We didn't find a tarp the same size. Like I was saying before, we needed needed another one, but this one is 17 by 23. Wow, by 23. <laughs> That's the best he could find, I guess. But we have, you know, all the trees have been cut down now, so we'll have sun on the pool all day. That'll be so nice. Just like that, I am back from Walmart. It's about three hours later. I'm gonna show you my grocery haul. I spent like $337. Oh, I did buy, oh, I'll, I bought a fan for our room. I forgot, I didn't see. Marion and Jackson brought everything in, but so, cause we switched rooms, you know, we don't have a ceiling fan anymore and I've been feeling hot at night. Like I miss the ceiling fan. So I got a stand that's a fan that's on a stand. So hopefully, I mean, it was just an inexpensive Walmart one. Hopefully it lasts. Just this Lasco brand um, oscillating fan. It's on a pedestal, so that'll be so nice. <laughs> then over here I got some bottles of water, some dog food, laundry detergent, cat, dry cat food, paper towels, and a big huge bag of charcoal because I definitely want to be using our grill more. A few non-food items over here. I got a new Swiffer. They, I really, these are really hard to find. I don't know why, but I found these on an end cap, and there was only there was only this. So, uh, but I need I need more. So, got that. I got me some more of my gummy vitamins, and then my um, I don't know how you say it. Omer Prezol, Prezol. I don't know, but I take these uh, for my acid reflux, and then a couple small boxes of tissues. Some bathroom cleaner. I really like the scent, mango and hibiscus. So I haven't used the Lysol before, but I just ran out of shower cleaner, so I thought I'd try that one. I grabbed a few of these shorts. I actually tried on a lot of shorts. I need a cute pair of like denim shorts, but I just can't find any that I like. Or not at Walmart. I haven't found any yet. But these were fit really cute, and they were $4.98. So I got a, like a pinkish purple pair and then a gray pair. Uh, just just be nice for you know when it's really hot and just around the house. Five dollars each can't beat that. Then these are my breads. I got two packs of these. They're what do they say? Brat buns, but I use these for Jackson with those like frozen steaks I get from Sam's, and then I chop them up and put them on here. And he really loves them. Also with his sandwiches, this is what he prefers. So I just grab two of these. I'll freeze one and keep one in the refrigerator. I keep all my bread in the refrigerator. If you if you if you're new here, <laughs> I just feel like it lasts a whole lot longer. It doesn't go bad, doesn't mold. I don't have to worry about it if I keep it in the refrigerator. So all my bread products go in the refrigerator. Uh, we got two things of hot dog buns because we are going to be grilling hot dogs. I got some this 100% whole wheat and honey bread. This is really good, and we're going to be probably having sandwiches a lot too just during the week. Jackson's home now for summer, and yeah, I just plan on having like sandwiches and chips for lunch, and also wraps for me, so I bought these carb balanced tortillas. Um, I bought some rice. I'm going to be making Japanese. I'm going to attempt to make like teriyaki chicken, so I needed some rice, and then two big things of egg noodles. We have, I made Olive Garden chicken last week and I have a bunch that I froze. So one night we'll have that again, just an easy leftover dinner. Um, I bought my cans of cat food. This is the ones I love to buy, the chicken entree. And I got a bunch of these, but my oldest cat, Claire, she seems to like always be hungry. And so she wants like this. She doesn't want her dry stuff. So I thought if I buy these little gravies, maybe I'll just put this, cause she loves these. I'll just put this on the dry in between. I only give them this once a day, but yeah. So I got roast beef, roasted turkey, and roast chicken. And then I'm going to try these Rachel Ray. These were actually cheaper than these Friskies, but they have like, like this has meat and stuff in it. So I don't know. We'll try them and see what, if she likes them. Uh, then I got some white sharp white cheddar i'm going to make sloppy joe and macaroni and cheese homemade mac and cheese so i got that i'm going to do the beef gravy over potatoes again so um just this just makes it easier and it's so good these bob evans mashed potatoes i'm going to do spaghetti one night with these garlic breadsticks 
This is for my homemade mac and cheese. And then I just, this was literally the only veggie pasta they had in the whole store. And so I got two boxes of these. Jackson loves these with um, chicken and butter and Parmesan. That's one of his favorite meals. So I got that. And then some unfrosted blueberry pop tarts for Marion. The drink mix. Jackson likes these. Fruit punch. Got some more zero sugar Cool Whip. I'm going to try a recipe with these two. And see, I was really looking for sugar-free grape also because I want to do the frozen grapes again, but they didn't have they didn't have it. So I got two cherry, one for the grapes, one to try and you mix it with this. I'll probably uh, do that in a video just to show you how it is, see, see if we like it. <laughs> um, I got a brown gravy mix and two of these strawberry muffins. These are Jackson's favorite. He can literally eat like the entire, it makes six little muffins. He can eat them in like one sitting. It's crazy. I got these little treat bars for me. This is one of my favorites. They taste like an almond joy without the almond. So good. Then I bought these for Jackson just to fill up his snack box. He requested Cinnamon Toast Crunch this week, so got him the bars and then also Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And then I got Marion his churro cereal. And then um, I got a sugar-free chocolate cake mix and an angel food cake. And then over here is my cans and a bunch of chips this week. I got Marion his coffee, his black silk. I got these for me because even though they're over three dollars, they are so very good. And I'm gonna be, like I said, be doing like sandwiches and chips a lot. So I wanted like some chips that we all love. So I love these. Um, I got these for Marion cilantro lime, or or for me, they sound good. We've not had those. I got these for Jackson. I've never tried these before, but they are chili chili lime and he likes the chili lime so we'll try these are only two dollars for this huge bag so I bought these grapes at Aldi I didn't buy those today um, then I got just some great value barbecue and some original uh, what are they called Rid ridged ridge potato chips to have with some dip because we'll be having some hot dogs and that'd be good and then I just bought this from Mary and it's bugle caramel bugle sweet and salty and I thought oh that sounds something like something he would love but he didn't have a price and when it rang up it was almost four dollars I would not I wouldn't have bought it but I just went ahead and bought it hopefully they're delicious because that was crazy expensive um, I got some sweet sweet pickle relish some tuna fish I like chicken Mary likes tuna so we'll have that in a wrap one day got some evaporated milk for my mac and cheese cream of mushroom soup for my gravy mix, some stick butter and some regular butter. They didn't have this last time I had to buy the canola oil, but they had this today. Got some more green beans. Marion loves us. Um, I got this for him just because it was like 98 cents. He loves sangria. This is of course non-alcoholic. We don't drink alcohol, but uh, I thought I would let him try it. Maybe he would like it. It's probably full of sugar, but the they come. this was a dollar, so you can get a four pack for like $3.50. And he, he loves the sangria that they bring out at Christmas time, but you can only get it at Christmas. So I thought, I'll just give him a little treat, see if he likes it. This is my favorite um, pasta sauce. I do love the Rayos, but it's crazy expensive. But this is my, definitely my go-to. The ragu, chunky tomato, garlic, and onion. The flavor's so good. So we'll have spaghetti with that. And then this is our favorite Parmesan cheese. And then I got these for the Japanese, some... P.F. Chang's teriyaki sauce. I'm just going to make chicken teriyaki with vegetables and rice and then it's got to have yum yum sauce. So I haven't tried this brand. Hopefully it's good. I mean it's yum yum so it's all good. I got some ketchup. We're not, we are not picky about our ketchup. I, we don't even use ketchup except I use it for baking and sometimes on a hot dog but other than that like we just don't use ketchup. So I know that's weird. So I just get the cheap great value. Uh, I got Jackson a couple of these splash drinks the black raspberry or black cherry and black and raspberry blackberry we did get some ice drinks yesterday and some other stuff at Kroger when we went in last night but I got him a couple of those and then this is the last of it I got a big giant thing of ground beef I'll just cut this up and this will make several meals for us I really like these chicken breast cutlets they're just like smaller thinner chicken breasts I mean I don't really know but they're it's good quality meat so I got this for when we do Japanese food. I got some pastrami. I did buy a huge thing of lunch meat at Sam's. I showed in another video, but Marion likes the pastrami. And then I got a big giant thing. It's that time of year to buy the big thing of hot dogs. So these are our favorite. So
so uh, this will feed us quite a few meals. I got two broccoli, frozen broccoli, then a spinach and spring mix. This will be for sandwiches and also for burgers and wraps. I got just a half gallon of milk. That's what I've been buying lately. It just stays fresher. I had to throw out milk when I get the gallon because it goes bad too soon. So this one says June 14th. So and today's May 29th, I think. So that should be good. Um, I got a pineapple just because I love them. Got some apples, some bananas, some tomatoes, onion, and bell pepper. And that's it for this grocery haul. So I've, I'm not going to just do like a full meal plan, but I kind of told you some of the things I'm going to be making. And I'm going to ha also ha we'll have like leftovers. I've been making food for like two or three nights and then we'll eat leftovers the next night because we have a little bit of each night left. And uh, we'll just have sandwiches. We'll have wraps. We'll have easy stuff because if it's hot and, you know, if we're out in the pool and I don't want to have to stand over the oven for a long time, um, I got I thought of some easy meals, but also some other meals too like I like I told you the beef gravy and the Japanese and um, sloppy joe and mac and cheese and then of course we're going to grill several times this next couple weeks so that's my grocery haul I gotta put all this up I'm not going to film putting it up whenever my pantry's done it's going to be nice I'm going to do like a big stock up and then I'll show you because I'll have more room to like set you up and let you see everything here my pantry you know in there is just super crowded and it's hard to get the camera in there and it's dark in there so it'll be a lot different once I get my pantry and I can show you how I'm setting it all up but right now I'm just going to put all this stuff away and then I'll go show you the pool because it's all set up all right got all the groceries put away and I washed these grapes in vinegar and water these I got from Aldi and they are so huge and so good I love a crunchy grape and <laughs> these are so good and I got them a couple days ago but they look amazing so I'm going to go ahead and in case you missed that vlog if you take grapes and wash them put them in a big baggie with some sugar-free jello just the powder and mix it all and then put it in the freezer these are such a good cold summer healthy sugar-free snack so i'm gonna go ahead and put these together So there they are. I'm going to stick them in the freezer by probably, I don't know, tonight or tomorrow they'll be frozen. And these are so good. So good. And look at that. I only had to throw one grape out. That's amazing. Usually, you know, there's a bunch of rotten ones at the bottom. Not this time. So these will be so nice when I'm like wanting ice cream or something. Get some frozen grapes. They are so good. Try them if you haven't done that already. All right, I'm going to go out and check the pool. It is 5.15, so it's technically dinner time, but like, I am so full. From our Mexican food. Come on, of course, they gotta come out with me. Um, so I think it's just gonna be, I'll see if the guys are hungry and I'll probably make sandwiches or something for them because I'm not hungry, plus, I was eating some of those grapes. I think we need to probably cut that. That goes way over into the yard. A new tarp just looks so much better than the old one. Marion was, oh, he was tucking it under, but we're gonna trim. I told him he needs to trim all this black off. That's the edging. Um, I'd love to have like big potted plants to put all along here, just to kind of not make it look so bad, but this is like blinding right now. Um, always the pool looks terrible when we first put it up. He'll go in and scrub and it'll, it'll look so nice once it's all full, but it's gonna be a long time. He doesn't like to run the water overnight, so he'll turn it off this evening and then probably all day tomorrow it'll fill and where we live it only costs like twenty dollars more on our water bill when we fill our pool so to me that is pretty inexpensive to have you know water all summer and these are looking good I repotted them this is still live definitely got lots of water this week these are getting huge my Gerber daisies you like that Ollie no new blooms yet but hopefully hopefully I'll get new blooms I don't know. Do those keep blooming all summer? I think they do. I think they bloom all spring and summer. 
So I think now I'm just gonna make the, them something for dinner and then I was downstairs in Marion's main cave and I was like, it's so cozy down here. I wanna watch a movie. And he was like, you pick a movie and I'll watch it with you. So I think that's what we're gonna do now. There's Bill's tag clanging on the bowl. Um, I think we're gonna just relax, watch a movie, just hang out and then I'll just continue this vlog for you in a second. For me, tomorrow, Memorial Day. Okay, it's actually like after 11 o'clock and this is really random. We just watched a movie. One of you guys sent me a movie a long time ago called Flywheel and I finally watched it and it was so good. It's so old and it's very low budget. It's, um, anyway, it was so good. Marion was out here. <laughs> Uh, Marion was out here checking on the pool and we because it's nighttime, you know, we um, Y'all said that the slugs feed on the hostas at night. We totally found them all over them So he's like go get your camera show them. Come on In case you're wondering what they look like <laughs> Where's that big one? Oh, yeah, the big ones right here. Look at that right there They're uh, all over it. Yeah, there's there's two on this one right there and then there's one there's down one there. there wow one there that is terrible we got to get something to kill them tomorrow one right here. On the crazy yeah look at some of these leaves half the leaf is eaten yeah look there's one there so they come out at night so it is monday memorial day have a little change of plans this morning madison hurt her foot really bad and so i am going to pick her up and we're going to hopefully find like an outpatient place that is open today because she can't put weight on it you know she's got a big trip she's supposed to be leaving for right now so hopefully hopefully nothing's broken we're going to go check it out though well we're currently on hour two of waiting in the urgent care madison just went back for x-rays crossing our fingers it's okay it doesn't look too swollen or too bruised so I'm hopeful that it's just like muscle or which can hurt worse than a break I've broken both my feet but anyway don't know don't know the plans yet depends on this because she was supposed to leave town today for a whole week and it may change her plans so I don't know we'll see Okay, we are uh, we left the doctor's office. Madison does not have a fracture. She's okay with me sharing it. She does have a big fancy boot. She has a, um, yeah, it, it, basically she um, is going to wear that while she needs to, but she's changed her plans for the week. She's got lots, lots of things going on this week. So anyway, that was not how I, we either one planned on spending this morning, but that's okay. It's 2.30 now. We're going to go about like five minutes from where we are is where that tornado hit. We had two tornadoes the other day. Um, if you watch my last vlog, two tornado warnings. One of them, uh, they said it was an F2 to F3. It is like 135 mile an hour winds, which is like one mile away, one mile an hour away from an F3. And there's like a lot of trees and stuff down, but I think it's all blocked off, but we were just gonna drive over there and see if we could see, because Madison's like dream is to be a storm chaser. Like for her honeymoon, she wants to go on a storm storm chase and chase tornadoes. Of course, the only the kind that don't damage people or their properties, you just know? Just in a field. Just in an empty field. That's fine, <laughs> <Just> cool. <laughs> she's crazy. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're gonna go see if we can see any like of the trees and stuff, and then get her some lunch. And I'm gonna have a cookout tonight, and Patrick texted me and asked me if he could come, so, or if I was doing that, so I think he might come for dinner, so yeah it's really hot i really want to drink actually I do too. a bad like a like not a bad drink <laughs> a soft like drink. a soft drink like a sugary soft like a drink <laughs> like an ice cold coca-cola <laughs> full of ice yes my word oh my gosh look ahead of him look at this this house has the roof ripped shingles ripped off oh, oh dear are we gonna be in trouble <laughs> <laughs> look at that tree Look oh, at that tree laying on the house right here. <gasps> Mom. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. That oh, weird. oh, mom.
what a day. I tell you, this day definitely did not turn out like I had planned. It's four o'clock now. I just got home. We did go out and see like the tornado damage. That was, it really felt like the movie Twister, like walk, driving through this one neighborhood that was totally like, it's so weird how it's this random little neighborhood that, it, that the tornado hit. But they were all like out. They said like a lot of people are helping them, you know, chop down trees and they were burning trees and a lot of people were there helping. So that was good. But um, yeah, then I had to like take Madison a few places and dropped her back off at home. And I just got home. I'm going to go check out in the pool. Marion's out there, I think, like cleaning it. Hopefully it is still filling up. It's probably only like halfway. Um, and then I'm going to make some dinner soon. Patrick's going to come over at 6.30 and I'm going to grill some burgers and some hot dogs. I do have a little housework I need to do. I've just been gone all day long. So I do also need to edit a video tonight. So, but... Right now, I'm gonna go check the out, check the uh, check the pool. <laughs> Marion got some slug poison today, so he put it down. Ollie, move. It says it's safe for uh, pets and people, so hopefully that'll keep him keep him out. Oliver, that should keep him away. They were bad. Oh, that looks inviting. Yeah, I wish it was higher. Right now it's a little more than a waiting pool. But... Yeah, well, it's getting higher. You got it on, right? Yeah. Won't be long. I just figured I'd come in here and get the trash out before. Yeah. Too bad. It's hot today. I was gonna power wash my chairs and get my fire pit all cleaned out, but I'm gonna wait and do that another day. I didn't know I was gonna be gone till four o'clock today, but I am gonna probably go edit for a little while because I really need to get that video done and then I'll start up the grill and I'm excited for some grilled burgers tonight. I'm hungry, so that'll be so nice. It's so weird to not have our huge tree here. It's so weird. It's just always been like right here. <laughs> it was like right there. And we got it cut down in October, so this is the first like summer, you know, when everything's filled in. And then he cut down a ton of other trees, so it's just so open and so strange. We do have all of this privacy over here, though, so I'm thankful for that. And then those trees like hide the houses from our point of view, it hides the houses in the summer, so it's not terrible. And it will definitely keep the sun on the pool, so it will make it warmer. Oh, it feels good. Taking the first swim, <laughs> so echoey. Feels good to you. I don't, I can't do this coldness. Mm -mm. Not yet. Okay, I've been working hard making burgers. Um, we're just gonna have hamburgers and hot dogs. I have some leftover watermelon, chips and dip. Just gonna make it easy on myself. You wanna come outside? Ollie always knows when we're lighting the grill and it scares him. He doesn't like fire. Goodness gracious, it smells good out here. Mm. Patrick's here and he got his last card. Here's to 50 years of life. So the very yes. last card from the P.O. Box. From, yes. So who is that from? Uh, it's from somebody in Pennsylvania. It's from... <laughs> <laughs> It's Margaret from Pennsylvania. So thank you for that card. Definitely. And for all the cards. Definitely. I've closed my P.O. box. So uh, I showed that in my last vlog. Yes. My Friday vlog. So yeah, uh, I went by there and picked up the last one. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and close this three day long vlog. I really don't think, even though it was over three days, I don't think it was tons of footage. Mm -hmm. um, today definitely wasn't the way I planned. Anywho. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.